Network. Today is April 28th, 2020, and it is day 31 of virtual school. This is Ms. Turner, and these are your afternoon announcements. The word of the day is garish. To decorate, embellish. To add decorative or savory touches to food or drink. I personally am a fan of garnishes in drinks, it makes it give it a little bit of flair. Virtual worlds provide a unique opportunity to hang out with your friends while still maintaining proper social distance. Recent release of Animal Crossing New Horizons is a hot topic at the moment, with plenty of gamers causing mischief while visiting their friends' islands via Nintendo Switch. You can also turn towards games that you used to play, like Club Penguin to help relieve stress and mitigate anxiety while distancing as well. Try something new or old today. Would you rather be given $10 every day for the rest of your life or be given $1,000 only once? Let us know in the comments on the FP Student Body Classroom. Watch this short video on four great quarantine snacks that you can make.
next up is a video I made to help you use your email more efficiently. Turn off classroom notifications and better yet, filter your messages. No need to get to have email get you down. It can be overwhelming, but with a few simple tips, you can make it as easy as one, two, three. Students, this is a video on how to Gmail. Okay, so um, this should look familiar. This is kind of like just the starting tab in a Google um, Chrome tab. So to get to email, you can either click on the Gmail icon, you can type in Gmail, or you can go to the waffle and click Gmail. By doing that, it is going to open up your email account. To delete any emails, you are just going to click the box next to them. Now, if you have quite a few emails like 5,000 or 500, and you kind of want to just start over from scratch, you can um, actually select all of them. And then it'll give you a selection if you want to select all email messages. Because I know that it can be really frustrating to feel like you're doing a really good job and you can't actually see the email messages. So um, I can delete all of those. The other thing that I can do is, I'm gonna undo that for a second so I have some email messages. Maybe you don't wanna see all of these classroom announcements in your inbox. And so to fix that, you can create a rule. And to do that, you can go to settings. And then, so that was a little gear. And then settings. And you can do what's called filters and blocked addresses. And we can create a new filter. And it's classroom.google.com is the email address for anything from Google Classroom. And I can search. Oh, it got a little too fast. Let's try that again. So classroom.google.com and I'm going to create the filter and then I'm going to add it to a label which my label is going to be classroom and I'm going to skip the inbox and archive it and I'm also going to apply it to email messages that I already have that match that conversation so I'm going to create that filter and now when I go to my inbox, you will notice that there is now nothing in my inbox because all of those notifications in my inbox were from Classroom. So now when I go to my Classroom filter, I see all of those messages. This is super, super helpful. So the second thing that you can do is turn off notifications for some of your Google Classrooms that you don't need to get notifications for or all of the notifications. So I have went to Google Classroom and I'm going to go to the hamburger and the hamburger is what I call the three lines that are next to the Google Classroom um, logo. And then I go to settings and you'll notice that there's something called notifications right on the screen. And so notifications are going to be what notifications that you get. Now I do not recommend that you turn off email notifications because this is helpful for teachers to communicate with you. But you can turn off things that maybe you don't want um, to see in your email. The other thing that you can do is you can actually turn off certain classrooms. So maybe you don't want to see the FP student body classroom. Okay, so you can turn off certain classrooms. So, um, Please do check your email, take care of your email, because your teachers are trying to contact you, and especially during this time, it makes it really difficult for them to communicate with you um, if you're not checking your email. So um, if you need help, I'm happy to walk you through any of the things that I've told you today. Um, you just contact me by emailing me <laughs> or um, a private comment in the FP Student Body Classroom. Thank you very much, and good luck. This has been the Falcon News Network, and have a terrific Tuesday. Wash your hands and keep social distancing. We will get through this together. You may now stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America 
and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.